Come along as we run around the old Greenwood Roadway, just south of Indianola. Something like this has been in the, in the Midwest, let alone Iowa. A hidden treasure from Iowa's auto racing past that's becoming more and more hidden every day. Back in the early 1960s, a group of Des Moines businessmen got some money together and built the Greenwood Roadway. At that time, amateur road racing in America was at its peak. As we see in tonight's Carlin Cover Central Iowa, in just four short years, the race course was spinning out of control and eventually crashed, never to host a race again. The British Car Club of Iowa recently rolled into the old Greenwood Roadway using the very same directions listed on an old race event poster from back in the day. It's located eight and a half miles southeast of Indianola on Highway 65. I think everybody wants to go drive around the track right now, so are we ready? Yeah. yeah. And as they climb into their antique Jaguars, Mini Coopers, Sunbeams, and Triumphs. It'll be a thrill. Uh. These sports car racing junkies are well aware of the history this antiquated and all but forgotten raceway holds. Construction was in 62 and first season was in 63. At that time, the popularity of amateur sports car racing in America was at its peak. And a group of Des Moines businessmen hoped to hitch a ride on the heyday by building a three mile long, 15 turn road course on more than 300 acres of rolling Iowa countryside. There were pros that got paid to race and there were people that drove in and you know jacked up their car and swapped tires and raced for the weekend and put the road, road tires back on and drove home. It was uh, close to home. One of those working from his own wallet weekend warriors was Chuck McGuire of Des Moines. So I, uh, I could afford to come here. In fact, on this day, McGuire pulled the only car he ever raced here into the same place it was parked when this photograph was snapped back in 1965. It's kind of a, a nice opportunity to bring the car back mm -hmm. so it can remember something too. <laughs> <laughs> McGuire and his machine both have memories of a tight track. You did a lot of dicing trying to pass because it wasn't a very wide track. After nearly four decades of neglect, Greenwood is only half as wide now and rapidly becoming more narrow. A too narrow profit margin led to the closing of Iowa's first road course after only four years. They just went under due to the, the fact that they couldn't attract enough sponsorship and, and fans to, to pay for it. Forty years ago, racers came here to prove themselves, but now the old Greenwood Roadway is a proving ground of a much different sort. The ground surrounding the track is being gobbled up by the Operating Engineers Union. It's where members learn how to run heavy construction equipment. I feel like the uh, Operating Engineers could probably come in here and lay a new track base and, and, and find a, a little fencing and we'd be back in business. <laughs> These guys would love that. Back in business on an old racetrack that was long on fun but short on profit. Steve Carlin, KCCI, News Channel 8. That is so cool.